In this video, I'll show you how to plot a quadratic function from a table of values. The question reads, plot the quadratic function y is equal to x squared plus x minus 3 for x is equal to negative 3 to x is equal to 2, and estimate the zeros, the x-intercepts. To do this successfully, you need to create a table that looks like this, and you have to evaluate the function at each of these numbers. So starting with negative 3, we have negative 3 to the power of 2. Notice that I have embedded the negative 3 in brackets, and you need to do that, especially if your number is negative, plus negative 3 minus 3. And you will repeat the same process for all of these x-coordinates. And finally, 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 minus 3. This gives us the following answers. So negative 3 to the power of 2 is positive 9 plus negative 3, that's positive 6, minus 3 is positive 3. So this serves as the y-coordinate for the point. Negative 2 to the power of 2 is positive 4, minus 2 is positive 2, minus this 3 is negative 1. 1 to the power of 2 is 1, minus 1 is 0, minus 3 gives us negative 3. Here we end up with negative 3 as well. 1 plus 1 is 2, because 1 to the power of 2 is 1. Minus 3, we have negative 1. And lastly, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, plus 2, that's 6, minus 3 is positive 3. So now we have the points, negative 3 and 3, negative 2 and negative 1, and so on. Let's start off with the first point, negative 3 and 3. That's a negative 3 and up 3. Negative 2 and negative 1, that's down here. Negative 1 and negative 3 over here. 0 and negative 3 is over here. 1 and negative 1 is over here. And lastly, 2 and 3 is up here. 2 and 3. So what this tells us is that our vertex, the turning point for this parabola, will be somewhere in between this point and that point. We don't know what it is, and the question isn't asking for it, so we'll leave it like that. But keep that in mind when you connect these points. So make sure that the curve that you use goes through all of these points and pretend that it will start to turn out around the middle of these two points. Continuing along, and you end up with a parabola that is facing up. And that's expected, especially since your A term is positive. If your A term is positive, you'll have a smiley face. And if your A term is negative, it opens downwards, you'll have a sad face. And so there you have it. That is how to plot quadratic functions from a table of values.